Hello, it's Sarah with the reading for the collective. I hope that you're feeling amazing. Wow, look at you. Uh oh. Five of Swords. And you're looking at it too. So you have this high priestess energy. You see this Five of Swords happening. Defeat. Some sort of conflict. Someone wants to win no matter the cost. You see them. So whatever happened in this reading, this is confirmation for you. You already know whatever this is. Um, wow. Wow. Devil reverse. Five of swords. Okay, someone does not want to let something go. And this is like hateful, ego-driven battle that someone's in that's obsessed. Operating out of their shadow side. Five of Swords, Devil Reverse. Something really has to be dealt with here. Wow, Ten of Cups Reverse. There could be a whole group involved. Or someone is trying to say someone, um... I don't know if someone's trying to blame you for something going on dysfunctional in this group. Or their home life is in tatters. Or this group is all un unhappy. Um, be six of ones because they see you as having won something. They see you as victorious. Um, you could be on a platform or, um, yeah, be seen somehow in the public eye. Um, or there's, they think it's just that they feel like you won. Three of wands reverse. Yeah, some people are feeling, or someone's feeling, pretty pessimistic here. Maybe, like, they'll be waiting forever for something. Pretty pessimistic. Ace of Wands reverse. They don't have the spark. They don't have the idea. They don't have the passion. Someone's not attract, attracted to someone. There's no connection. Um... Challenge, Five of Wands. Yes, yeah, somebody is in a lot of conflict. Maybe with you. They want to compete with you. But something's not coming in for them. Someone could be dealing with a lot of conflict within this group. You seem like... Unaffected by... What... They tried to do. And you're... Coming across as if you're very healthy, bountiful, beautiful, in, you know, invigorated, um, energetic, warm, healthy, you know, um, confident, you're taking action. You know, a great person, person to be around, to have around. There's some kind of Seven of Swords, Hierophant Reverse, lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking, Hierophant Reverse. Someone could feel like someone doesn't want to be married and they're sneaking around. Um, or there's this group, a group of people that are doing something unorthodox here uh, that are lying, cheating, stealing. Um, they're not happy with you. They feel like you're ignoring them or something like that. This could be a person, this Hierophant Reverse. It's like you're sitting pretty and it's bothering somebody. Um, in the subconscious, Two of Cups, something is meant to be here. There's a perfect match. Deep down, someone knows that. So there's no reason to compete, but they can't... Um, I guess they can't focus on that right now because they're feeling like, um, you know, they're in their ego and they can't ignore whatever um, conflict they're in or competition they're in with you. Death reverse in the recent past. Someone doesn't want to let something go. 
Someone here, though, there's a King of Swords energy that's watching everything, that sees everything, that's very, very um, clear and just. I don't know if this is a masculine energy who is making a judgment call or has been operating in the background helping you, um, or if this is Archangel Michael, or if this is a masculine energy that someone couldn't get one over on. Um, and they see what's going on here. Um, someone doesn't want to let something go. And whatever this is in the past is affecting this future, this ending. Someone doesn't want to let something go. It's affecting whatever this is happening now. Could be something going on online. It could have to do with you recovering from some type of backstabbing or betrayal. And someone trying to rework something. So I feel like someone, you know, something's falling apart based on some sort of hateful ego driven battle that somebody's in. And they're trying, they're still trying because, um, or this is felt like it's not over and I feel like they're, they're just getting more angry here um, I don't know if you're where you're dealing with this person if this is just in your energy and you, you're gonna be picking up on it or this is in your environment um, but there's someone here that there's like a lot of conflict maybe this is a group fighting with one another because something's not coming in but someone doesn't want to let something go. Um, yeah, Six of Pentacles reverse. Someone doesn't want you to receive something that's fair. There could be also someone who's having trouble financially or they feel like they're not going to get a piece of something. Maybe someone promised someone um, or promised people a cut of something um, and they can't deliver. But it's like based on something having to do with you. Yeah, trying to avoid a tower. Here we have it again. Tower in the reverse. Lovers reverse, some type of separation or breakup, broken contract, or it's like, I don't know if this is a, two people who don't see eye to eye, but that are still in alliance somehow. Or this is like two exes. Or, you know, an ex of yours that's going through some type of a breakup or they're in a relationship where there's a lot of discord. Or this is someone who um, chose not to be with you. Lovers reverse. Someone is just very paranoid. Maybe they're paranoid about going through a breakup. But somehow they feel like it's your fault. But there's some there's definitely something else at stake here that's going on. Someone's really thinking deeply about something here. About this breakup. And about your happily ever after. It's like someone or some people are in some sort of dysfunction and someone could see you as happily ever after and someone wants to head towards you and there's a lot of conflict. Someone could be angry, they could feel duped. They made the wrong choice. Um, near future, two of wands reverse. Someone doesn't have a plan. Um, they're stuck. This, this just feels very stagnant. Death reverse, three of wands reverse, two of wands reverse. Not knowing what actions to take or the plans are falling apart or there is no new plan. Um, but someone doesn't want to let something go, but there's no plan. Um, the lens that someone's looking through, Hermit. Either someone feels like you're pulling away. Um, 
and they can they can tell you're soul searching or this is somebody who is watching someone who's soul searching or who wants to be alone or they're dealing with someone who's investigating something um looking into a situation they themselves could be looking into something here you could have pulled away your energy um taken some time alone um there's someone here that's doing something over and over and over again that someone is, um, I feel like they're thinking deeply about this this person, this situation. Someone could feel shame. I feel like someone isn't rising or feeling like they didn't rise to the their true potential and they're watching someone else do it instead or yeah there's some something like that here or someone yeah someone's thinking about this offer this potential an opportunity um something connected to a magician energy and someone feels like they don't have it they don't have the spark they don't have the essence, the connection, the creativity. Someone could feel dull and lifeless without someone. But there's a King of Pentacles in the picture. It's almost like someone is watching someone else live what they should have done. Or that they're about to witness it. Um, yeah, there's some sort of good news coming or good news here. Um, in the environment, page of wands, there's the the news, the information there, some type of adventurous energy um, spark. Something that could be drawing the eye, drawing attention. But there's someone here lying, cheating, stealing, sneaking, three of cups reverse. This is like a group of people all lying, cheating, stealing, or someone's cheating on someone, or if someone feels like someone's cheating on someone, or someone lied, someone could have put someone in a third party situation. There's some type of news here. Yeah, there's some type of messages or news, information, messages, uh, text messages, emails, videos, social media. Something is, is being seen um, quickly, some sort of news here about a Queen of Cups. Feminine energy who's very loving and kind with someone loves this person or this very loving, lovable person. Queen of Cups. Some sort of good news connected to this Queen of Cups. But somebody lied, cheated, or put someone in a third party situation and they really regret what they did. They really regret what they did. In the environment, sorry, hopes and fears, four of wands reverse. So someone's real nervous. They don't want someone to receive these. They don't want someone to get married or they're worried about someone Achieving some milestone, um, some sort of celebratory atmosphere. <sighs> Union. Someone's real nervous. They don't want someone to get something. It has to do with someone being happy. Someone trying to avoid a tower. That lost control. Someone lost control. And they're trying to avoid a tower. Wow. 
lost control trying to avoid a tower. I mean, this could be someone who feels like you were always the one and that they put you in a third party situation and have been lying the whole time and you're moving on. Well, this could be somebody who um, was trying to damage some type of two of cups, doing a lot of lying. Or I don't know if someone tried to distract someone away from a Queen of Cups. Someone trying to cover something up. There's a lot of tension in this reading. A lot of tension. Um, someone trying really hard to stop either something from coming out or just to the other shoe to drop. Or some sort of information to come out. For someone to, to give up, for someone to succeed, for just to see someone in a new relationship. Um, this could be something deeper, connected to some type of, um, you know, spiritually, spiritually minded uh, goal, but in a negative way, some sort of negative you know, this is like someone depending on your uh, demise and broken heart to succeed, which is very weird, but, you know, it feels very real in this reading that people, you know, someone could have done something like that. If it's not on, on purpose, you know, spiritually purposeful, that's how it's coming across, you know, getting ahead at someone else's expense. Feeling okay at someone else's, you know, demise. Feeling better about themselves. This could literally be someone who's just very deeply narcissistic that um, will feel shattered if someone they discarded mo moves on and is happy. Um, but let's definitely clarify. Um, I feel like there's something more going on here. Um, there's, the stakes are too high for it just to be that. It's There's something else going on here. Um, it's a broken contract. Maybe I'm getting a lot of competition and conflict. Someone looking at, someone thinking deeply, someone definitely in remorse about what they've done. Outcome, King of Swords, Wheel of Fortune, and Star Reverse. So, Hanged Man. Something about a masculine energy here being way too just and clear um, to be manipulated is what it feels like. Um, or protecting someone. Um, I feel like it's this magician energy. A lot of this could be going on. Um, you could be having very active dreams. Um, Wheel of Fortune, something that's meant to be, it feels protected. There, there's someone very just carrying something through to the finish line. And somebody here that was trying to block your light or steal your essence or replace you. Um, it's like live your life for you. It, it's failing. Something that's meant to be for you is, is meant to be. It, it is unfolding. Um... If you're dealing with this, especially you're this high priestess energy, this has been, I feel like, been going on for quite a while. Um, these people's perspective of, you know, even just a little minuscule shift is a big deal. Whereas I feel like for you, you have um, well, I feel like that's what this Wheel of Fortune is. Um, this sort of unencumbered um, movement forward, this this plan, this vision you have, 
these downloads you're getting. Um, I feel like there's something about time and feeling like it's taken longer for you than, um, I don't know if that's the right way to put it. There's some sort of reassurance if you feel like, especially we've got Mercury in retrograde. I feel like you're getting downloads. You have this plan. It's your North node and there's something that's supposed to come together and you see it and you know it and you've always felt it. I feel like that's what this is with this wheel of fortune. Um, it's not saying that, you know, everything's raining down all at once, although it could, but I feel like it's being, it's unencumbered and there's some support here and clarity. Um, and there does seem to be this master manifester around you, supporting you. Um, not to say that you don't co-create with the universe, but I feel like there's someone else here um, helping. It feels like, like a general, you know, again, it feels like heroic energy or Archangel Michael or masculine energy who is, has hero energy that's very, very smart, distinguished, has been through a lot. Um, very, very smart and very just. And there's something about someone not stopping until they see, until they get to the bottom of something here. And with this hermit here, there could be someone investigating something as well. Someone can't make a move, it seems like, with this hangman. They have to wait. They can't do anything. Tower reverse. Maybe because someone is taking time to think or someone is alone or someone can't reach someone. Tower reverse. Someone doesn't want death reverse, tower reverse. There's a huge change about to come. And even if someone's trying to stall they don't want to deal with some type of reckoning or they have to look at themselves or they have to face reality or, um, you know, there's going to be a shakeup, someone's foundation or whatever it is, you know, it's, they can't avoid this tower. And I feel like that's what this wheel of fortune is. Knight of swords reverse is some type of bully trying to avoid maybe being, um, seen for what they've done. Someone's done something horrible here. Someone is out of control. Someone is, there could be someone dealing with this bully. Someone could be trying to navigate a bully in their environment. But it feels like someone is stuck around this bully. Maybe somebody that thought they were gonna get ahead with this bully or this bully can't make a move because someone is thinking deeply or because someone is investigating. It's like there's a pause here. We have hanged man, death reverse, three of wands reverse, two of wands reverse. It's, they want to fight. Someone wants to fight, but they can't, they can't make a move because death, death is the ending. It's an ending, total transformation. In the reverse, it's stagnancy or death, someone resisting an ending. This could feel like an elongated ending as well, which I feel like in, inevitably that's what someone's doing to themselves because it is still an ending. It's just they're elongating it. They're creating more pain. Their day-to-day -day life is all about dealing with this transformation instead of just allowing it to happen. And these are major arcana, so it's coming from the universe. This can't be stopped. And then this day-to-day -day energy with the minor arcana, three of wands. Wands are all about actions, alliances with this three. In the reverse, that's stagnancy. Some, you know, pessimism or something that they were waiting for isn't coming. Alliances are falling apart. Near future, more actions turned upside down, wands, actions, you know, choices, 
with it being a two, but it's in the reverse. More stagnancy, no clear plan. Um, no clear plan. More st stagnancy all around this person. But it's like they want to fight, and they want to stop someone from receiving something. It's like they don't want something to be fair. And, and they're so, the stakes are so high that I feel like there's something else going on. Um, because they lied, they cheated, they stole something. I mean, there could be someone holding on to something that belongs to you. Or trying to. Because they don't want you to have this celebration, this union, this um, milestone, this party this happy home, they don't want you to have what's fair. Um, who is this? <laughs> who is this for the collective? Something about someone not helping you. Um, judge. There could be a judge here. There could be something going on where someone judged, judged you. A thief. This is a thief. Time, money, energy, hope, truth, reputation, future, potential, businesses, business ideas. Energy. This is someone who is trying to take something that does not belong to them. They could have already taken something. This is someone who's having trouble manifesting on their own. Almost like someone... You have this real youthful energy. It's like you metamorphosized, right, as this Queen of Wands. It's like you have this... Yeah, because we saw Ace of Wands reverse. Someone doesn't have the spark or the essence or the energy. They're a thief. It's like they want your energy. Or they want your ideas. They can't generate the ideas on their own. They can't generate the essence on their own. They can't manifest on their own. Um, they're a bully. Trying to bully you out of what's yours in this lifetime is what it feels like. Pretty heavy, heavy stakes, big stakes. Someone's trying to steal something from you, but you also, whatever you're doing here, you're serving humanity with humility. That is why whatever this is with this wheel of fortune um, is meant for you. It isn't to be hoarded. It's not for ethical. It's not to be seen and it's not to be hoarded. It's not to be overindulgent. It's not, that's not what the, the, you know, wheel here is for this fate, this destiny. It's for others. It's this, it's ingrained in you, it's in your DNA, it's something that is you're meant to do. So this download, this plan, it's yours for a reason. There could be someone breaking up with someone here, this is an ex, someone can't, there's something they can't do. I do feel like there's some sort of weird spiritual energy here. Alchemist reverse. Something is not working, um, and someone feels like someone's helping you. It's also like whatever logic someone has is not working. Someone's illogical, or someone felt like they were smarter than you as well. Um, Someone feels left alone without this magical energy that comes from you. Some type of battle energy. Someone, 
This is like some type of energy drainer who feels like they can't win. They're not a leader. People might be less interested in going down some path with this person um, that is very temporary and self-satiating in the moment. Um, this person could be losing support. They're having trouble tricking people. They can't... Um, someone might have felt like they could battle you down or tackle you down because of some sort of sensitive uh, sensitivity regarding you know, your um, childhood or who you are, you know, what you've been through or where you come from, but there could also be a child involved here um, in a situation that this is some type of femme fatale energy, someone who um, is overly attached to money and power. Yeah. Prostitute reverse. This is somebody who only cares about money. But this father liberator it could be a masculine energy around you that um, is freeing something up. You may or may not know this person. I feel like this is this king of swords energy. Um, almost like somebody avenging you for what was said about you. Um, they could be also dealing with some sort of Don Juan reverse energy. Um, yeah, these people that were addicted to whatever it is they were trying to do here. Um, you are this angel, goddess, pioneer. So it's something that's meant to be. You're very angelic, and you represent the feminine, feminine expressed through wisdom, nature, life force, and sensuality. Um, you could be very, um, approach life in a very abstract way. I don't think you mean to purposefully but whatever you're building here you could come across as very cryptic to some people but it's it you mean well and someone sees it you're very you've got this beautiful energy about you and there's something you're doing you're starting and i feel like it's connected to this wheel of fortune it's always been something that you've been cult it's been building up your whole life um, yeah, there's someone here that I feel like with this dilettante here, it's like they want to judge you. They've wanted to judge you. They want to be better than you. It's just really weird. Someone who's in competition with you. They're having trouble getting support. Whether this is legally, contractually, some sort of negotiations behind the scenes. It just seems like a gamble. It just seems like blind. People aren't interested in following this bully. Some sort of um, truth about this person's intentions um, are coming to the surface. Um, there could be a mother figure involved, or you could be a mother, or that someone here is just very smothering. Or um, people are seeing you as someone that has a lot of patience and unconditional love. And that you have joy in giving birth to life. Creativity. Um, others' well-being. Yeah. So this is like this dilettante energy trying to companion means this could have been a friend of yours even this could be someone connected to an ex or this could be someone that um this could be your mother even that's like wants to judge you or it's like they want to be better than you or this is like a colleague or a frenemy or an ex, someone connected to an ex, you know, a thief. Someone could have stolen your work, tried to block your business, replace you at work. This, this. I 
feel like you're very uh, I was saying I think that you're you're very well rounded and there's something coming to the surface about you being multifaceted as well. Okay, so I feel like who we're dealing with then is this um, some sort of copycat, bully, thief, feminine energy who um, I feel like this could be someone that you um, maybe worked with. Yeah. doesn't have to be, but I feel like someone's in competition with you. They could be very angry. They could be dealing with a lot of conflict. Um, let's, let's look more deeply into this. I feel like this could be someone like a colleague or someone that stole something from you, but doesn't have to be. Someone here stole something. They tried to, and they, they wanted to be better than you or steal something from you, but they don't have whatever this idea, this spark is. And it has to do with some type of a relationship. It's just someone is not interested in this person, it's like they don't have the essence that you have. You know, um, they shouldn't be doing this. They should cultivate whatever they have in, that they were born with. It's something to do with your essence, a spark, a divine spark. It's something that originates with you. It's yours. It's authentically yours. It's, it's imprinted in your life path. It's, it's in your DNA. This isn't something that you can steal. It's, it's giving the energy of someone who wants to wear your skin as unfortunate sounding as that is. It's, it's, it's off. It's really off. Uh, okay, so what does the collective need to know? What's the overall takeaway? What's the main theme of this? Okay, so we have fruit. Loss of control, derailed, lust. So if someone is like lusting after you or someone feels like they lost control over something that they thought they had that was yours. Or someone tried to use lust. Uh, that could be that Ace of Wands reverse. It's not working. They can't get someone's attention. Or they're lusting after, you know, what is yours. It's definitely this dilettante energy. Someone trying to bully you, take something, a bully thief. What else do we need to know about this person? Lost control. Not... In love. Someone tried to use lust, but someone's in love with you. Or you're in love. So there could be some another person's energy here that's not showing up, that's dealing with this bully that was... <sighs> because we did see that regret here, that regret energy. Someone trying to get someone in lustful energy, seven of swords, three of cups. Someone doesn't have the spark. They don't have your spark. It's like a copycat. What's, yeah, I don't need to do that. Someone doesn't have your spark or your essence. of wands reverse friendship reverse empathy reverse which is strange because it goes back to this frenemy energy to me 
some sort of connection is not real or not true or it's broken or somebody here is not really someone's friend someone has no empathy for someone someone doesn't care about someone ships aren't coming in there's no connection someone doesn't have a cornucopia um, someone has no patience Um, someone feels like you're getting the attention or someone's interested in something that you're doing. Someone who operates out of principle. Someone can't get someone into lustful energy that is more interest. They find you to be exciting or you have the essence or something like that and... It's like you're getting all the attention, you're this queen of wands, you have the essence, the spark, you're angelic, you're a good person, you've got something unfolding here destiny-wise, there's some sort of good news coming. Maybe I'm picking up on all of it together. I do feel like there's a friend of me here. Um... I feel like there's this, this King of Swords energy or there's a masculine energy that isn't flirting with someone or some sort of flirtation or lustful energy isn't um, working on them. And someone's not going to give their power away to this person. And now they've got to be very careful. Someone cannot make a move. Knight of Swords Reverse. This is a bully that can't make a move. Someone's very principled. They're a master manifester. They see you as very angelic. Love, lovable. Something's not coming in for someone. They were hoping they wanted to build an alliance or... This could also be someone wanting someone to travel with them or travel towards them or um, some, some like actions that someone took. They, they feel like they're going to be waiting forever. Someone's real restless, waiting for some type of communication or information or there's, which goes back to that eight of wands. Some kind of lie is being cleared up about someone's position in society or someone lying in a some sort of situation where there's people are in positions of power. Someone's losing their influence around this group. Or someone's realizing someone just wants to do something for, for status. Or something is shifting or changing because you're getting the attention. It's a change in status or there's someone cares just about status. It's some sort of news here or communication that's very important. Someone's in competition with you. Someone wants to fight. Someone wants to fight you. Um... um Someone wants to take their earrings off. <laughs> I don't know. Five of wands. Um, okay, I feel like this is actually dis group discord. There could be a whole group, though, that's in competition with you. Um, it's about someone not having a vision. Something's not coming in. It's some sort of communication, restless, waiting for something that's not coming. And there's a fight within this group because someone doesn't have a vision. Maybe someone guided a bunch of people down the wrong path. Like they were going to get something that they're not. There's some sort of extreme information here. That either someone's waiting for or that someone is trying to block. Something about an affair, blocking it, blocking love, blocking an affair. Someone doesn't want an affair with someone. Someone doesn't want romance with someone. Someone doesn't see someone as innovative. 
it's something to do. Someone's in competition with you, and um, someone someone likes your essence. They like that you're unique. They like your vision. They're very principled, and I feel like they're focused on you. And someone here is trying to get their attention. And there's some sort of news that someone's waiting for, and there's a bunch of discord within a group. So I guess this would be... I don't know who this is, but they're in competition with you for someone someone's attention. And it's like, this is someone who pretends to know everything. They want status. It's like they want to be better than you, but, but you have this, um, the actual essence or the actual spark or the creative idea or you're the one that initiates, or you're the, 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 the innovator. There's some sort of something exciting about what you're, you're creating or what you're building. It's uniquely yours. It's also your essence. And it's also that you're doing something for others. And here someone is trying to get people's attention or get someone's attention. Like, they have the answers, like, they know what it is, but, but it feels shallow, or all someone cares about is status, and someone's not interested in this person, they feel like they can't get their attention. They could have taken some type of actions with a group, it's not working, they're not getting what they want from this person, someone is more focused on you, your, your essence, your your spark, your creativity, your passion, it's whatever it is because it originates with you. It's like someone is trying to get attention instead of you who doesn't do what you do. Like they're, they know more than you or they're better than you or there's some sort of, yeah, five of wands or some like competition. And and also someone's trying to get someone into some sort of lustful energy as well. It's like... Yeah, someone does not feel like this person has a vision, so... Yeah, there is no plan. Two of Wands reverse. They don't have a vision. They don't know where they're going. It's just someone wants status. Someone's not interested in that. Wow. And they could talk a good game, and they could have some sort of position, or had some sort of position that's notable, you know, they could have gone to school for something, um, you know, it's like, I'm trying to think of a, you know, an example that would make sense. Uh, I'm not sure if this is a good example, but like an art critic versus an artist. But like an art critic that has a really good job, um, you know, with an, say like a notable newspaper. Um, that could have multiple degrees but they don't come up with original ideas and they like to be at the best parties and wear the best clothes and be around all the people that um, inf have a position of influence. And this is someone who's been trying to say, you know, this, there's the judge, we saw the judge, you know, that you don't belong or they're criticizing your uh, spark. And I feel like something has shifted where this person has to, they feel like they have to um, make a case for themselves somehow because they want to make a move, but also I feel like they want something from someone here. And a lot of it has to do with them being in competition. There's something about this person's logic as well, because it's there's something very academic about this. Um... And I'm not saying there's anything wrong with being an art critic or having multiple degrees. 
I, I'm just, um, I'm trying to use that as an example, uh, you know, of somebody that studies the thing that someone actually does. Or that someone's supposed to be an expert in the thing that someone actually does, but they don't actually do it themselves, whatever that is. Um, and I feel like this position, this person has some type of position of power or had some type of position of power, however they got there, um, isn't clear, but they don't do what you do. And, and actually this person's a thief. So that's the part that is, you know, someone is seeing that someone can't do what you do. So I don't know what they try to do, steal your position, steal your ideas, steal your essence, and then critique you. I feel like this person is um, entitled to, there's some arrogance where they've gotten used to some sort of cushy situation, but based on lies and, and thievery. And there's some bullying energy, you know, using people, using force, using lies, using whatever means necessary. Um, but this manipulation isn't working. I think someone could have gotten themselves into a position where now they can't also deliver something as well. It could be someone here isolating themselves as a defense because something that they have is exalted. And the irony in this situation is that it's leading to some type of status for this person. If there's some sort of excitement around the person that is isolated, that someone tried to bully and isolate, that there's irony playing out here and there's some type of a drama the drama around a true connection and some sort of secrets. Secrets having to do with a gamble that someone took. But clearly there's no vision in this manipulation and there's something about someone trying to keep something secret. Someone wouldn't give their power away to someone though. Someone is not interested in this party scene or this dream someone's trying to sell someone. There could be a lot of money involved here. There could be somebody that was born into a situation where there's a lot of resources or there's a lot of, um, it's not just about them. It's, there's like a whole family. There's a family lineage. There's a family business. A lot of people depend on this person, not for everyone, but I feel like that's in, in the energy as well. It's like someone's trying to compete for this person's attention and resources, authority, um, status, being connected to this person. Someone, someone's birthright. Someone doesn't want to have an affair with this person. Um, someone can't use any type of tradition or culture against this person or they can't pull this card. It's not working. They can't dominate someone with some type of dog dogma. Deep down, something's a true two of cups. That's why someone can't manipulate it. Something is like a soulmate connection, whether this is business or love or lifelong friendship. Someone cannot break this because it's, it's a perfect match. Whether there could be two people that are completely opposite. Something's a risk here. Someone could be taking a risk because it's a two of cups. Um, some sort of lie is coming out or someone's exposing someone. Someone here has a lot of patience. This could be you with all this patience that's exposing a lie. It's like you've handled something with temperance and because of it, it outlived this lie. It was only a matter of time maybe if someone tried to steal something that's yours, they can't deliver. They could talk a good game. Someone's false here. They only care about status and money, but it's failing. But this person doesn't want to let go. Death reverse. 
in the recent past. It has to do with someone giving to someone else or someone having access to um, money. But I also feel like this is something that you would be building uh, for others, not just yourself. Someone doesn't want to let something go. There could This could be a charitable organization. This dynamic. Or someone's in charge of a foundation. Someone's trust. Someone doesn't want someone to have influence. Um, it's a whole drama. <laughs> it's like someone is really trying to talk their best game here, but they're exposed. They're exposing themselves, trying to stop, stop progress. Um, they're creating chaos and exposing themselves. And the more they do this, the more difficult it makes their situation. Because it's like they've exposed themselves, so they, they're stuck. They're stuck. Someone doesn't want an affair with someone. Someone doesn't have any intuition. Someone really um, feels like someone, someone, I feel like someone, because you're this high priestess energy, I feel like someone likes, likes that about you. Yeah. And the irony about that is, especially with this high priestess energy, that's something that you keep to yourself. You don't necessarily wear it on your sleeve. So a lot of people might not really know that about you. It's not your, you don't brand yourself with like spiritual energy or like being a spiritual person. Um, that's not your goal either. So that's some type of irony here because someone likes that about you um, and or sees that about you. Um, there's some sort of comparison being made, but you didn't bring this on. Someone was, is competing with you, or there's this whole group that is um, in discord or competition with you, but you're trying to actualize something, or you are actualizing something that helps more than just yourself. And it's also something to do with this charity, or this investment, or this resources, or, you know, just someone's getting out of your way even, you know, not trying to block your, you know, ruin your reputation or steal your work. The, and it goes back to this frenemy energy again of someone trying to hold on to something that's yours, like a colleague that feels like someone different than this other person. Um, and I don't know how they connect. Um, there's definitely something about someone not wanting people to see you actualize a plan that would help a lot of people. Or be this leader, be seen, be seen. It could be just your presence being seen in a certain light. There could be something about you that um, is unexpected, you know, or the way you look or something like that, where you could represent something special just by people seeing you um, I don't know, there's some type of excitement about you and but and there's some sort of irony about someone trying to shut you down or that these opinions that people have about you, it's actually you know, what is that? No bad PR is still good PR or something like that. I don't think you look at it that way. But I also feel like there's a sort of a a twist here as well. Um, high priestess energy. You've had to take a lot of time alone. Or you need time alone. Or you've taken a lot of time alone. It's There's irony with that because this person, I think they've tried to ostracize you. This could be you in this hermit mode. But that makes it more interesting. What are you doing? You know, there's this what are you doing energy here as well. Or someone appreciates it about you. That's you getting downloads. That's you being intuitive. 
there's something more, maybe there's a mystique now be, that someone, you know, there's some sort of news. There's something also about the fact that you're not trying to get the limelight that is also intriguing. There's some sort of intrigue. I'm seeing something about, um, well, North Node, but also Christmas and also sacred geometry. Um, someone here feels devoted to you and it doesn't matter what someone says about you. This critical person, there's someone trying to criticize you or say you don't have it. Um, it's just creating more intrigue and all this fighting over you and it feels like you've maybe you've withdrawn or there's someone here that can't be accessed because they're alone and thinking or soul searching or someone's investigating something in regards to you and it's becoming more and more um something about you being very unique and withdrawing and having strong intuition and then the irony I feel like also with you you know you might have had to keep a lot to yourself with this high priestess energy because it can seem strange or odd so you try to you know I feel like this is your whole life to keep you know keep try to keep it under wraps so that you know it's it's a matter of self-preservation where you just blend in i feel like you you're not trying to blend in or not blend in but just to get along in society um i, I think there's some sort of irony about that as well something that was more um not painful but you know a delicate issue about you and you being this very intuitive person the way you communicate you know how you see your very strong third eye, which keeps getting stronger. Now it's almost like it's in demand or it's a commodity, but I don't think that the person that is looking at you, that sees you having a vision, thinks of it as a commodity. I think it's like they, there's a true genuine um, appreciation of it, but there is something about um, you meeting the timeline where it's all shifting it's the 2024, you know, truths coming out, but it's also this, um, I mean, some of it's just more pragmatic anyway. It's like, you know, corporations, you know, if it's a B Corp, people are more interested in, you know, buying from a B Corp than, than not at where it's, it's shifting to that. Like people want to know, how are you helping others? You know, people who have done, you know, making things all about themselves or this, this sort of dying kind of, it's like a dying culture. Um, and you seem to be on the path of this new unfolding, it's like, yeah. So there's something about that with the intrigue and it, and it leads to this fortune. I feel like someone sees it. You know what you're building that leads to this fortune and fortunes are subjective. So, you know, take what resonates, but whatever you're building, whatever this map is, but it's not just for you though. It's for others. Um, someone, I feel like someone sees that that's very principled here. Someone doesn't want you to get something. They don't want it to be fair. They don't want you to get caution. There could be someone here who feels like, this is someone who's like very chaotic. Someone doesn't want to romance with someone. They've got to be very careful, but they don't want someone to get a piece of something. They can't dominate someone. They don't want you to get something, but someone's not interested in them. They've got to be very careful or they won't get a piece of something. There's some sort of secrets they're trying to keep. Something about an affair, not wanting to have an affair. Someone doesn't want an affair with someone. Someone isn't listening to what someone has to say about you. Um, 
some sort of manipulation is not working. Someone has to be very careful. They can't dominate someone. Two of Wands reverse near future. Someone's ships are not coming in. Or sorry, someone doesn't have a plan. Resistance. More resistance for this person because they don't have a vision or they don't have a plan. They're, they're finding themselves up against more um, re resistance. The seductive energy is not working. Um, it has to do with a true cornucopia. Someone really appreciates you and your cornucopia. There's a lot of gratitude around you as well. Someone is losing their authority. Someone doesn't want to get into a conflict with this person. Someone's making some type of a very a well thought out choice in regards to who acquires what and it, and it has to do with you. Um, I feel like someone could be defending you or someone has their guard up with this person. I feel like this is like a king of swords energy. They definitely see what's happening. They, they're a principled person. The seductive energy is not working. Someone knows they have to be cautious around this person. But they also don't want to, they feel like they're going to not receive something. I do feel like in this case we're dealing with someone that has a lot of resources or a very powerful person. Um, that somebody's trying to, um, you know, somebody is trying to manipulate this person for money and power and status. And they're trying to steal from you or block you. And uh, it's failing because they want what they want. They're in competition with you, but they also want this. There's like some kind of payout or something like that. It, it could also have to do with someone's position. The more someone comes at someone with this lustful energy, the more they lose their authority in this person's eyes. Um the clearer it is that somebody is only in something for some type of glamorous lifestyle and not about actually building or achieving. So someone just is just uninterested in this person because there's no vision. They might talk a good game, but they don't truly actually care. They don't care about other people. They don't have a plan for this money or this position. Um, or they don't, someone doesn't want to partner with this person because if this is about a choice in love or, or marriage or or maybe it's business or maybe it's both, someone doesn't see this person as um, the one to build with or the one to give the position to or the one to give the money to um, or this group. Um, I don't know if this is a financier, but they're, they're aware of you. I do feel like secrets are coming out. And I feel like that is why it's like someone's someone's focus on you is creating some type of um there's news here, there's definitely news. Someone's not protected and has really endured something here. Without any protection, somebody has endured something here. It's about your strong spirit, very strong spirit. And also, it almost feels like dealing with, this, you know, the sun in Scorpio, you know, shedding the light on this sort of murky underworld that you have, um, you know, can, been contending with. But this also requires your own, you know, control over your own kind of wildness inside. Your willpower, something about your willpower is very insignificant here. Your willpower, how you, you achieve something or got through something with no, no protection. You're not protected, but you very, very strong spirit. Someone sees that as well. That you also don't, you don't respond to some sort of lustful energy here. That you're focused on this fulfillment, building something, a master 
plan, you have a master plan here. I feel like someone's, uh... There could be something about someone here that also got into a situation very impulsively um, just for some type of glamorous lifestyle. Um, some sort of secrets that someone's trying to keep, but people can see something about someone. They can't stay detached because there's some sort of remorse that someone has here. Someone didn't protect you from this bully but you endured. I feel like that's also something that people are seeing or finding out, but I don't think that that's the same person as this King of Swords. I feel like that person doesn't have a choice in a matter because um, something was a gamble. Um, I feel like this is like a leader on top of that. There's like someone on, someone here has more say so uh, about this whole situation here and they feel like these people or this person does not have a vision they did not see something they took a gamble that was a bad gamble and not only that they don't have a vision and this person's um has empathy for you it could be a friendship they feel you So this could be someone that, um, they could relate to you in the sense that maybe, you know, there's like a lonely at the top kind of an energy, but not, not, you know, too extreme, but just someone who, um, you know, has integrity, but or maybe this is someone who, maybe it's taken them a while to see something about someone here or these people, or this is someone who, um, it's just a very good-hearted person that um, happens to be, you know, in a position with a lot of power and resources that, um, you know, likes the simple things, stuff like that. Um, I don't know, I just feel like someone's trying to have, um, someone might know that someone tried to block your negotiations. It's a big drama. Um, the Hermit. Someone seems like they can't stay detached from something anymore and they're really thinking about something having to do with some sort of... Someone can't negotiate with this person if they can't be found. Someone is seeing through an illusion. Um, it has to do with some type of devotion to a situation where people have been wearing masks and now they're exposed. Yeah. Someone wants harmony, they don't care about the money. Someone could realize that about you. There could be someone here that, um... Thought, I don't know if there was... This person, I feel like there's someone here that has a lot of resources around them. And, um, they're just realizing who is for them and who is not. Or... If there were lies told, something like a group, there's, there's a group of people that only care about money and status, and this person may have that, but there's something this person has to give. People want something from this person, and it's like they're, they've separated themselves. There's a lot of deep thinking and people can't negotiate with this person if they're not there and someone knows something about you and that has to do with your your integrity or your purpose or your vision and that you've endured something here and that you have no protection or you've done something all on your own and that you have intuition and you have a good heart and you're very you know, sweet nature, and you're a good person with a big, big vision, or that you have actualized some things here without any help, and also with all of this sort of, uh, you know, under the surface, dark kind of behavior, all for for money and power. So someone sees it. There's a lot of secrets here. Um, I feel like that someone is privy to 
they don't feel enthusiastic about these people and they don't want to have an affair with someone. Um, and, and someone can't escape whatever they've shown themselves to be something here and now some, they can't escape whatever they've done because someone here just wants harmony. They're not interested in this lustful energy. So I don't know if someone tried to approach someone. Uh, I feel like someone definitely exposed themselves. This is someone who has integrity. There's some sort of news here in the environment. Um, could be of someone birthing something here that leads to fulfillment. Could have to do with who someone wants to have a child with, or it could have to do with someone um, having a new start. Some some sort of travel, travel, home, home protection, um, someone who's innocent, someone who's pure-hearted, um, the fulfill fulfillment of something that someone's, something that something, someone is birthing, um, who is very unique, who's been sort of ostracized out here. <laughs> um, where it's like people have been trying to paint some type of picture so that people are unenthusiastic about this person as if they're not unique at all, but it's the opposite. Um, some sort of polarity, some sort of opposite picture has been painted about someone that's not true. Whatever this is, someone is losing their authority and influence, and there's some sort of news about it. There could also be something having to do with somebody um, having a child, something to do with traveling. Someone could have traveled, and, and there's a child. Um, that's not for everyone. Um, something about someone losing control some sort of lustful energy. Um, someone can't escape something. There's a bunch of secrets here. Um, there's people talking about it. There's some sort of news about this. Um, and then someone here that has some type of empathy for you. I like there's multiple scenarios. Um, Four of Wands reverse. Someone's afraid of you, you having this union, this marriage, this milestone, this happy home, this party, the celebratory atmosphere. Um, yeah, they don't want you to have this achievement. Um, someone doesn't want you to. Something about someone needing to have patience or someone having a lot of patience. Someone doesn't doesn't want to have an affair with someone. Someone is asserting themselves. It's like somebody almost feels like this is your perspective. Or it's something to do with your temperance. Someone acknowledging your temperance, your... But also this person is, um... They're just not interested in something. It's like they feel like it's... Not... Someone would want something. Someone is very particular. And they're not interested in whatever this is. And they're asserting themselves, but in a way that's... Um, subtle, but direct. Someone sees through an illusion. And they're very solid on their opinion, but they're... I feel like this person's respectful, or they're... 
can't tell if this is you or this is someone else. Someone sees something about you. Someone knows that you saw a gamble or someone trying to gamble something. Someone that didn't have the originality that you have in some area here. Or someone that, someone trying to even make something public that's not theirs. And it's like you've known the whole time or someone is acknowledging your patience with an issue. The outcome is King of Swords. Someone here is very... I feel like it's protective energy, very clear-minded, very um, forthright. And it has to do with something that's fated or destined or good for there's good fortune connected to this person's stance. And someone here, there could be some sort of a public fall from grace. Someone here doesn't have the spark. Someone here um, isn't, something isn't spiritually aligned. Um, it's like very clear, or something's being made very clear. Yeah, someone is very clear about heading towards someone here that's been ostracized or is different. And it leads to some type of um, good fortune. Something that's meant to be, something's fated here with this Wheel of Fortune and the Upright, yeah. There's something about a gamble someone tried to take here. And, and a, a negotiation or a contract is not coming through based on this gamble. Or someone gamble is gambling not to negotiate with someone. Um, we'll leave it there for now if you resonate. I hope that it helps. And I'll see you on the next one. Bye.